Okay, seat belts on, fuel shutter valve on. Side of friction. Is good, collector is good, pedal is good, throttle is good, collector is good, friction on. Okay, rotor brake is disengaged, circuit breakers are all in. Okay, car repeat is off and unlatched. Mixture is full rich, mixture guard on. Landing lights. Okay, clutch disengaged. Altimeter reset. Counter switches on. Okay, so it hasn't been started, so I'm gonna go to three. Yeah. Go to three. Okay, so one, two, three. Roll into D10. Okay. Yeah, very fast. Very close. close. All right. All right. Battery. Strong. Clear. Is there more static in yeah. the, the, the... This one has an issue with the intercom system. I think it's somewhere. Side. Somewhere there. underneath there. Yeah. The wiring. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to roll up to uh, 75.
Should I pull the car up heat? Uh, we can pull it a little bit. Or we don't need to. No, well, we'll you, we don't need to because it's out of the yellow. We don't want to pull too much because you don't want to foul the plugs. But oh, okay, all right. About halfway should be okay. Okay, or should I not bother? I mean, I was just thinking to warm up the cylinder hit temp. Yeah, we can pull about halfway. Let's just put it around 15. Oh, okay. On that, let's consider what our max allowed manifold pressure will be. Okay, so it's seven. So it's probably about 20, 22.4. Okay. So. Presenter again. It goes in a self test. We don't have any uh, instruments to support that. And it'll just take a little bit to figure out where it is. Okay. The ADSB, the transponder is always, always on. I don't need to do yeah. that. Yeah. That one comes on with the battery. All right. Looks like we've reached our green area. Okay. What's up, uh, tower? 2629, we'll whiskey about uh, nine miles an hour. Okay, so I'm going to go for a split. Uh, okay. Spray clutch. Uh, okay, fingernails up. We're all down. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, for the D790 whiskey mic. Doors closed. Yes, that was uh, 39 whiskey mic. We got Zulu right now. Uh, for landing. For 39 whiskey mic, they were trying to make straight in runway 3 at left to port 3 mile final. Just skip some steps there. I said, did you skip any steps there? Uh, well, I'm going to. Yeah, let's take a look. I think we've done our MAC checks yet. No. Go back up to 75. All right. Okay, so left man, one 1,000. All right, that one looks good. good. One one thousand, two one thousand. Go All back right. to both. Also looks good. All right. With carb heat. Moving. Okay. Put it back. To All right. Yeah. So now we're done with that. Now, the doors. No, I'm good. Okay. Yes, doors. I'm going to let you keep working on that and I'm going to flip over to ADIS real quick. Hey, where's Airport Information Zulu? 1648 Zulu. Wind 350 at 3. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 13, 2.06. South temperature 3011. Visual approach runway 28 left in use. Landing in the parting runway 28 left, 28 right. Notice two airmen, Crane, 1.56 nautical miles west, northwest of the airfield, 150 feet AGL, flagged. Use caution for bird activity in the vicinity of Hayward Airport. Flag on this contact, you have information, Zulu. Zulu, all right. Okay.
Okay, so I have the control, so now I'm going to uh, roll uh, up to 80. Okay. Let the governor take over. All right, looks like Governor's holding it there. Okay, so go ahead and do our low RPM check. Let's right, go ahead and so give us a little up collective. All right there is perfect. Uh, okay, okay, so and just a little gentle roll down. Six two nine whiskey three. My final two eight. Left. There we go. And we'll let it hit ninety seven. Then we'll let the Governor fix it, and we'll put collective back down. Perfect. Six two nine whiskey, sir. All right, ready to go. All right. All lights are out. All gauges are green. Have fuel. We'll give just a little car key before we pick up. I think we're all set. All right. Okay. There. Okay, so two-step pickup. Position 8, 26, 29, whiskey, thanks. 29, whiskey, just go ahead and verify 2-8 right, clear to land. 2-8 right, clear to land. 29, 26, 29, whiskey, thanks. what you see with cyclic. All right, nice job. Go ahead and hover me out towards the edge of the taxiway there. Close traffic to spot Charlie for now. It's a nice normal takeoff, normal approach. You get back in the swing of things. All right. Uh, so, so uh, just say, uh, Air Tower, uh, Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha at Meridian, request low close traffic spot Charlie. And you have information to them. With Zulu. Okay. But yeah, that's it. Air Tower, Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha at Meridian, requesting left close traffic to spot Charlie with the information Zulu. Helicopter 6220 Alpha, we're tower wing common cylinder 3010, make left, slow traffic. Next way Zulu 3 Meridian, clear takeoff. Next way uh, Charlie, Charlie. Next way Zulu S, watch out, clear line. Clear uh, to take off from Meridian, uh, left close traffic to spot Charlie. Uh, 6200 Alpha. Do you say clear take off my land? Yes. Yeah, we have take off clearance and we have land clearance. So we are clear to take off Zulu beam radius. And then he read it just kind of weird. Uh, we said clear to land Zulu at spot Charlie. Oh. There you go. Just keep up that pedal work. Pedals keep the nose straight and I'll get everything else in line for you. Gentle rock back. Let's start to climb. We'll maintain 53 knots and keep the collective up around 22 inches as we continue our climb through here.
Foxtrot, uh, cross two way to right. Uh, you can expect your man on the street to see the Mooney will be moving. Okay. Uh, do I have to do we have to um, tell him that we're land, the third right land or no? Even though I missed that on the read back. Uh, uh, get track you, so we're we're not going to do another read back. But strictly speaking, you should have told our limo. Let's do your downwind checks here. All right. Uh, Lights out, top of the green, three in the green. Hey, you want to kill members? Somebody of you, man, on this frequency oh. tactic. Well, well I don't, it's not the yellow, so do I need car beat? Yes. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's go
rock and be back. Let's let the helicopter climb. Now I'll give just a little pull for Kurt e just to move us farther away from the yellow. Lights out, top of the green, three in the green, fuel, car heat, car feet, mold, one more bar. Power level, 65, good stretch. Number 65, good enough, good day. center and clear right train left. go outside towards the spa. Everything's visual from here on out. Alright. See, as you start to Bring the nose back and slow yourself down, eat more down collective, otherwise you balloon upwards. Oh, okay. So keep slowing yourself down. You can see you're a little fast and a little high now. But you can bring yourself back on track here. There you go. So now start bringing a little up collective. And you'll feel those vibrations start to happen there. Just hold on to those for a little bit longer. Level the helicopter a little. There you go. So you felt your collective was doing about what it wanted to do. All we saw there is you're on the brakes a little bit hard there at the end because you're coming in a little bit fast. Too fast. Uh, but all in all, not too, too bad. Nice job. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's do a max performance takeoff and a steep approach. All right. Okay, so I'm going to set down. Alright, so normally what we would do is we would uh, do a mag check. That's correct, we would do a mag check. Right. Uh, what else are we checking when we're here on the ground? So we're checking a mag check, I'm going to check that I have okay, all the lights out. Alpha alpha green, 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 I'm going to check make sure that there is nothing on our skid. Okay, so we open the doors, we look at both skids, verify they're both clear, they're not stuck in mud, there's no rocks, logs, whatever. Uh, it's going to block them as we try and come up off the ground. Okay, and then normally I would uh, get a little light, get a little light, make sure that I've got all my cyclic in the pedals okay. and sort of in the, then uh, then back off a little bit, okay. and then and then make a cow, uh, call to the tower. Sounds good. And what power are we pulling to? Uh, so we're going to pull uh, 20, well, max continuous, so... So we're pulling five minutes. Oh, five minutes, max. Okay, so that'll be 23, 23.3. Okay, 23. looks like our temperature is the same, so we know that hasn't changed from when we checked it. All right, so yeah, well, we would normally check that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds like we're ready. Go ahead and get me light on the skins.
does fix that drift with cyclic. There you go. And there's your little bit down just to seat you. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, we're tower helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha. Request left close traffic. Uh, spot Charlie. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, left close traffic. Approved. Spot Charlie, clear takeoff. Clear to land. Clear takeoff. Clear to land. Spot Charlie. 622 Sierra Alpha. All right, so you go eyes outside, and then you're going to pull collective to come up out of ground effect. And you'll start a gentle walk forwards, not that much though. Ease it back a little. There you go. So pull 23.3, glance to the side of that power, make sure you're where you want to be. And you can feel that performance from ETL, so don't go any faster. And we'll just keep climbing up with our max climb over distance. Pedals to stay straight. All right, nice job. Go ahead and level, or excuse me, not level. Push the nose over uh, to accelerate us. All right, and we are back into the traffic pattern. Look good. My one critique is just to you know, don't go so far forwards to begin with. Oh, because we're start trying that, to go up. Yeah, uh, to start that walk nice and gentle. And you're just trying to you're trying to get just into ETL, and then no faster than that. And then once you were there, you did a great job of doing that. All right, so on our way in, we'll set ourselves up for a steep approach. All right. So we will descend to 400 feet. We'll hold 400, and then we will cruise in from there. When we see that nice steep angle, we'll initiate that steep approach. Give me a little right pedal for trim. All right, so lights out top of the green, three in the green, fuel. Car up is pulled. intersection up here is when we'll initiate it. All right. All right. Okay, so I'm going to come back. Yeah, so you're going to put the nose down. up and collective down. Collective down so you see yourself on a straight line towards the spot. And you're going to slow your speed down until you feel your vibrations right at transverse flow affect that border between ETL and forward flight. Right there. So just hold on to those. Don't go any slower. And now you're just adjusting with the collective to keep yourself tracking towards the spot. Alright, and before you bring back your airspeed, bring back your descent rate first. So you're going to pull collective, then you can slow down. And then we'll settle down towards ground effect. All right, got your carb heat there. All right. So I felt you coming in there, you're trying to slow yourself down as you saw yourself. Looks Too like much. you're going to overshoot the spot. You want to, well, because uh, in order for vortex ring state to exist, you have to have three things. You're pulling power, which we almost always are. Your descent rate driven 300 feet per minute and airspeed less than ETL. And when we're on our steep approach there, we had to send rate around 500, yeah, which means that we can't go below ETL before we reduce this back to above 300. 
So you want to always bring up that collective first, slow your descent rate, and then slow yourself down afterwards. So you don't meet all three criteria oh, okay. all right. at once. All right, so uh, don't pull back first. Don't slow it down first. Pull, yeah. the, pull the collective first because you need to slow the vertical. Exactly. You always want to reduce descent rate prior to reducing airspeed. All right. All right, we'll tell you what. Want to do one more? Okay. All right. Put it down. Yeah. are good, temperature's go. the same, all that other fun stuff is the same. Alright, all right. so I'm going to bring it up light. Saw the helicopter tipping. There we go. All right. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha. It's Spot Charlie requesting left close traffic. Spot Charlie. Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, make left close traffic. Spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear land. Clear takeoff, clear land spot, Charlie 62 Sierra Alpha. All right, we're ready to go. So don't put the nose down. You're climbing up first and then gentle walk forwards. There you go. Okay, so there's the ETL. Right? Yep, so don't go any faster. So go ahead and get me some airspeed. Looking good. Alright. Check it, always pull all the way. I'll up. pull it in, you'll pull it all. Full, yeah. full car beat. Full car beat. Alright. Alright, clear left, clear center, clear right, turn left. Alright, 
So you're slowing yourself down, down collective to keep yourself, or, or sorry, holding 400 feet, my bad. Alright, let's go ahead and start that zebra approach. So you give that nose up, collective down. Sit back into the approach, there you go. Tracking towards the spot with collective. Feel ETL there, you're just going to hold it with cyclic. Looks like we're an overshoot just a little bit, but that's alright. Don't go any slower. Keep me moving forwards. Don't go any slower. Keep moving forwards. Overshoot the spot. So we're going to keep going forwards all the way until we're stopped by ground effect here. There we go. So you've helped me block in the back of the cyclic bit yeah, to yeah. prevent you from stopping up high. Yeah. Again, it's a similar situation as last time. You don't want to reduce your airspeed prior to reducing vertical descent rate. We don't want to stop into a hover up high and then not be able to hold ourselves up there. So really just always continue forwards feeling those vibrations until you're down into ground effect. And then really the only I am to correct there beyond that is to bring yourself in a little bit sooner or a little bit lower to begin with so that as you come down you hit the spot rather than, over, than getting steeper and steeper and overshooting. Uh, the real key is identifying where you're going to be sooner and then making those corrections um, earlier upstream so that everything looks good for you at the end. I think I need to lower the collective sooner. Yeah. To, I mean, enter the... Say one more. Okay. All right. And this time on the max performances, don't let that nose drop off the bat. Try and come up level, and then start working forwards. Okay. I mean, come up more vertical. Yeah. Initially vertical, and then you start walking it forwards. Um, and your goal is to just reach ETL just before you leave ground effect. is like 10 feet. Well, it's, uh, I mean, so it's one rotor diameter for the oh. So yeah, about, that's about 10 foot skid height. Skid height. Um, at least until, until you run out of energy from your initial jump up off the ground. Because you'll feel yourself gradually slow and slow and slow. Uh, and then if you don't get into forward flight, then you'll just settle back downwards. Your goal is to, as you see yourself slowing down, you ease forward so that you catch ETL and then keep going up. Oh, okay, that's why you're saying pop up first and then, then start going, yeah. get in detail, and then stay in detail. Yeah, but you know, imagine there's no trees and bushes around you. You don't want to run forward in those. You want to come up vertical and then give it, get as much of a vertical climb as you can okay. uh, to get out of your spot. All right. Okay, the temperature is about the same. Okay. Lights out on top of the green, fuel, car beat. Should I put the car beat down then? Yeah, let's put the car beat down. Right, car beat down, check my skid. Alright. Living clear on my side as well. Okay, good. Alright. Alright, I'm going to bring it up light. I would have done my mag checks. Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha at Spot Charlie, request left close traffic, Spot Charlie. Helicopter 62 Sierra Alpha, make left close traffic, Spot Charlie, clear for takeoff, clear to land. 
Clear takeoff, clear land spot, Charlie, 6220. All right. All right, ready to go. There you go, keep pulling 23.3. There you go, and now is that gentle walk forwards, and then you feel yourself catch, and no faster. Let's maintain 23.3. Much better. All right, gotta walk us forward. Yeah. Once you've cleared your obstacle, that nose goes down, and now we're into gaining airspeed. All right. Nicely done. on top of the green, three in the green, fuel, RP, RP full. All right, clear left, clear center, clear right, train left. Okay. Should I start slowing a little bit then? I mean, sooner or no? Yeah, just hold about 50 knots, but you do want to get rid of your airspeed quickly after you initiate your steep approach. All right. So once so you're ready. Come down on the collective. Yeah. So it's two things at once. It's nose up and collective down. There you go. Kind of like you're sitting into a recliner chair. All right, there's ETL. Okay. So, so no slow. Feel that, hold on to it. A little collective up here. You see yourself coming just a little bit shallow. But so just hold on to ETL and adjust on the collective as you need to. And I'm below 300, so that's good on the vertical speed indicator. But holding on to the ETL. shallower approach than last time, but still the, the same philosophy. I was holding on to ETL, keeping yourself about as you know, close to that as you possibly can, just right on those vibrations. Mm -hmm. And then adjusting up and down on collective as you need to to get yourself down towards the spot. You did a good job of keeping track of your vertical speed and your air speed. Managing those, make sure you don't fulfill the requirements for vortex ring state. That one looked good. Okay. Nice job. Thanks. Alright. Then so what, let's do Let's practice a couple slope landings. All right. Like our radio call for us. And I think, have we done these together? No. We have not. All right, let's introduce you. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha. We'd like to sidestep to the grass for hoverwork. 
Delta 320 Alpha to approve as requested. Use caution. As requested, thank you. And use caution to Alpha. All right. So I'll take the controls. All right. You have controls. And you'll follow along. We'll come over here to our little ditch. Thanks for a nice area to practice slope landing. So the further right we go, the more slope it gets. Okay. So uh, we don't much. Less than five degrees. Yeah. Uh, it's around here is pretty this good. This is good. Yeah. Um, so in a slope landing, we have four total steps. The first step is just to stabilize ourselves to a hover over top the slope we want to be on, and we put the skids always parallel to the slope. After that, we'll lower the helicopter down, and we'll do that until the upslope skid contacts right there. And you can feel I've started pushing a little bit of cyclic towards the hill. Okay. Not a lot, but enough to hold us in place. So right now we're pivoting on that upslope skid. Okay. Then we'll just gently push a little down collective. And as you do that, the helicopter rocks downwards. So looks like we're actually already there. Are we supposed to? Are we trying to keep the disc level, or not necessarily? I mean, when you no, get the left side, like, not you're just trying to keep it into the hill. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to pivot on that upslope skid. Okay. And as we lower collective here. We'll give a little push forward and back on the cyclic, a little lower down, a little push forward and back. And that's to feel if the helicopter is steady or not. Okay. If we're, uh, this grass here is pretty solid. But if we're somewhere else, uh, then we want to really feel if the helicopter is on stable ground or not. And then our last step, as you've helped me do, is just to neutralize the collective. Okay. And we're here on the ground. Okay. To pick up, we're really just going to reverse the process. Okay. So we'll push. Gra gradually going left, or, or just push yeah. left first. We're just going to push up slope. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to gradually raise collective. Because we also don't want the dynamic rollover here. Right. So if we keep holding the left cycle, we're going to dynamic rollover to the left. So you exactly. Gotta, if we you keep start holding it. Exactly. You got it. But we want it there to begin with because we want to pivot on that skid without sliding down the hill as soon as we get a light. Okay. Right cross time departure is a real request. It starts to right. come neutral. And then we're up and off. After that. So when you start to lift, then you start neutralizing, right? When yeah, as as the helicopter pivots, off pivots the... up and levels is as you start is when you start neutralizing. Okay. So by the time the helicopter is flat, this should be neutral. Neutral. Okay. All right. You have the controls. Okay, I have control. You have the controls. But I better stabilize it. Yeah, just get yourself nice and stabilized. And you're going over all those four steps. You don't have to go quite that slow. Um, as you let yourself down, you know the helicopter will kind of tip and it'll start to go that way, so you get a little upslope cyclic. And around here will be a, a fairly gentle slope. Not much at all right here. There you go. A little too fast. But... Yeah, a little bit quick, but you saw that overall, as long as the steps are being followed, it goes all right. Okay. And as you lower, nice and slow on the lower. Here, we're doing pretty okay, but it's good to build that habit because you might be landing on rocks or you know, loose terrain. Okay. Something that might give way as you put more and more weight onto it. So you want to be ready to go back up and bring the helicopter back into the air oh, in, case, okay. in case the ground gives out. Okay. And then once you're down, neutralize the cyclic as your last step. Okay. And that's it. Landing complete. All right. All right. Go ahead and pick me up. Hey, so we're you'll push clip. up slow no, before you move collective. Charlie, Mike, holding there you go. Left alpha one, and you're going to come up nice and slow on the collective as you're waiting to feel when the helicopter is going to start to move. short to a left, data nine, Charlie, Mike. Start to neutralize, and there you go. Okay. Up off the ground. Um, am, I, am I supposed to do it slower, or it doesn't matter? Just as long as you do it right. Um, no, as you as you get more precision, you'll be able to do it slower. slower okay. But overall, right now, what we care about is doing it correctly. So you, so you don't roll and over. Coordinated, yeah. Let's go ahead and step just a little bit farther to the right. Right around here should be good. 
Five you got nine. yourself nice and steady, yeah, nice and stable. Morning, Thank you, Dufin. And you'll lower yourself down. Colonel 4604 Victor, here we tower you up. Nice yep, just trying to get zero four Victor. Colonel 4604 Victor, I'll tell you the eight center mission. There you go. Runway 28 right and then you'll feel it out. Slow on the lower. Right number two eight right, starting descent right now. Zero four Victor. And uh, confirm my nice alpha. Slow, feeling it out. Hey, we're nice slow, feeling it out. Two five seven zero. This terrain, like I said, is really good. It's not going to give out on us, yeah. so we won't feel that happen. But it's good to build that habit because you know we might be landing somewhere else off very important. Right. Make a flip and rocks fall away. Well, something like a rock and you would feel on pivoting on something. Yeah, if you're on kind of like a rounded slope, you'll feel the helicopter rock back and forth. Okay, then reposition. I mean, then yeah, you can reposition or you kind of feel it out, make sure things are steady. Go ahead, neutralize that cycle for me. Climb maintain 5,000. There you go. And uh, expedite That's on that. the climb, clear for takeoff, 2 left. All right, go ahead and pick me up. There you go, there's that upslope. Cardinal 04, Victor, verify you're making a straight in for Roman Street, right? Nice, gentle uh, raise on that collective. You'll feel the helicopter start to pivot upwards. As it pivots upwards, you'll start moving the cyclic neutral. There you go. for close traffic with Alpha. Nice job. Picking those up pretty well. Let's try one more. Three miles final right. traffic, 12 o'clock, one and a half miles inbound for the parallel is a cardinal altitude in the case 1,500. Straight in for through a left, uh, 6257 Sierra. Just get yourself nice and yeah, stable first. Traffic inside for 6257 Sierra. There you go. Take me just a little bit more to the right. Steady. Nice job. All right. Now slow on the down. I put the Charlie Mike contact no departure. Nice and easy to be on it out. Everything feels steady. Helicopter isn't moving anywhere. All right, collective pull down. All so right, neutralize down. cyclic. And landing complete. Okay. All right, go ahead and pick me up. Colonel 04 Victor, wind 2903, rolling to right, clear to land. To the right, clear to land. 04 Victor. Take me back on the taxiway. Well done. All right, I'd like to wrap up by practicing quick stops. All right, we haven't done that before. All right, let's do this. I'll make another radio call. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha. Request Zulu between Echo and Foxtrot for hover work. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, hover work on taxiway Zulu is approved as requested. As you guys thanks to Sierra Alpha. All right, go ahead and turn me around and take me oh. all the way down to the intersection of Zulu and Echo. So we'll go past Spot Charlie and we'll go down the next intersection. Okay, we're Tower Six, now six two five seven Sierra on a three mile, a three mile final. Just at Echo here. Yeah. Okay. Five, seven, so the radio call I made, we requested to have a between the Echo and Yeah, between Echo and Foxtrot. Yeah. So we have this whole taxiway here to work. work. Uh, two, five, seven, here. And a quick stop is used as a way to port a takeoff. You know, maybe you've saw, seen something wrong with the aircraft, you want to stop taking off, get back on the ground. Maybe there's a whole bunch of birds just flew in front of you in an airplane. Whatever it may be, something that says you, know, you, want, to, you want to stop. And as the name would suggest, you're going to stop fairly quickly. Go ahead and hold me here and turn me around. 
I'll demo the first one just okay. to show you how it's done. We'll talk a little bit about it as well. So, we'll get the helicopter all set. We'll put ourselves first off into an air taxi. Right. And after that, we get into that air taxi, so I'll take the controls. You have controls? I have the controls. So we're going to go to 40 feet, 40 knots. Right. Does that initial gentle takeoff run. There's that push through ETO. We keep going. 40 feet, 40 knots. We're going to want to slow the helicopter down with the flare. We know as we bring back cycle, the helicopter wants to go up. So we'll also have to use down collective and then right, right pedal as a result of that. I'll be so going quick stop. Three, three two, one. One. So the nose comes back, right collective comes down, down. Right, right pedal goes in, the flare gets deeper and steeper and steeper. And then we're going to pull collective at the end and level. And you'll feel that we end right on those uh, vibrations. And from here we're just steep approaching down towards the ground. Okay, so you still have some five you still have some forward speed well here in ETL when you level. Sorry about that. For some reason, it cuts off my intercom when my phone rings. Oh. All right. Why, do you have the Bluetooth on? Yeah. You have the controls? All right, I have controls. You have the controls. All right, so your goal there, as you saw, is to just flare the helicopter. We want to maintain a steady altitude. So you're lowering collective as required to stop ballooning. And then as you slow yourself down, you'll feel the helicopter. It'll start to sink at the very end there as you run out of energy. You want to bring the collective back up and you level the ship. And you feel at those vibrations and you bring yourself down in a steep approach. Um, you know, kind of just like, just like you're doing the steep approaches initially. You're bringing, you're bringing up the collective before you level? Uh, as you level. Oh, okay, same time. Just to catch yourself. Otherwise, you'll feel you kind of, you'd kind of drop down. Okay. Where's the uh, hover taxi back? No, let's do an air taxi. Let's do a quick stop the other direction. The wind's calm. Oh. So we can do it both directions. All right, stay with me. Yeah. All right, five, seven, there we go. Serious level, here's level in here. Three, 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 little ground collective will help with that. All right, go ahead and quick stop in three, two, one. Nose comes back, collective comes down, right pedal is in it. Level. Six, two, five, seven, zero. And then just a little pull of the collective. And you see you're approaching down. Not too bad. Looks pretty good for your first one. I saw all your control inputs were fairly coordinated. We, uh, you ballooned up a little, a little bit there. Oh, yeah, so a little more down collective. Yeah, just a little more down collective. But you did a good job with heading control. I really like that. And your flare itself looked good as far as the, the cyclic usage was concerned. And the level and a little pull there at the end was great. So we'll just we'll refine it, but overall. Won't take too much. Three one left, clear for the option. Six two five seven Sierra. Six five seven Sierra. Verify runway two eight left. Two eight left. Six two five seven Sierra. All right. When you are ready to go. All right. We'll do another. Okay. All right. that push through. Give yourself just a little down collected here to help yourself level out to 40 feet. Nice job. All right. So let's go ahead and quick stop. Three, Three two, one. There's that nose back, collective down, level, pull, and steep approach. You saw a little ballooning still. Okay, a little more down. Yeah, we probably went up about 20 feet. But improved from last time. All right. Let's do it. All right, you'll level off around 40 feet, 40 knots. Go ahead and quick 
stop in three, two, one. There's that nose up, collective down. And you feel yourself sink here at the end. So the reason we saw that sink is because you, uh, well, I guess sort of two reasons. Uh, you ran out of energy in the flare, at least enough energy to just hold yourself up. And you have two solutions to that. The first of which is to hold that angle of flare and increase collective to keep lift the same. Or you can increase the flare even further, bring the nose farther back, and that will hold you up for longer. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so the, how, how was the collective then? The collective was okay then, or...? or? The collective was better that time. You saw, you saw a lot more down there, and through the first half of the flare, you are looking really solid. All, all we saw there, but hey, it needed, was, was more... Left down with ...was continuing that the nose up. Uh, the amount of energy you have in your airspeed increases right exponentially right the higher it goes. So your flare starts off fairly gentle. And as your airspeed gets lower, the flare has to get more aggressive in order to be producing the same amount of lift. Okay. Wait a minute, so where are you talking about the sink? So sinking at the end? Yeah. Because you want to level and you want a steep approach down. And if you, uh, if you either don't pull up collective or if you don't continue your flare, you'll see yourself start the flare and then you'll drop off and do that thing. Oh, okay, so do you want me to... Uh, you want to maintain constant altitude, then level, then down. Oh, okay, all right, so what you're saying is I, I was leveling and coming down at the same time, whereas I should level, you were coming go down level first. Yeah, you were coming down before you level. Okay, all right, so get it level and then, then do like a descent. Yeah, and if you do it coordinated, then it all kind of flows together. Okay. Um, was I was I descending in the flare? Towards the end of it, yeah. Okay, I wasn't level yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Then. All right. So your your flare will start off gentle and then build more and more and more. Keep building, keep going. Now level, now pull. Oh. And just keep yourself moving forwards. All right, so the flare that time was much better. Oh yeah. We saw, and I called it out to keep going yeah. towards the end you there. You kept going. Yeah, so you're going to keep, keep that flare coming up, keep the nose going up. That way, as you lose airspeed, you that lower airspeed, you got to be at a higher angle to maintain that steady amount of lift. Um, in the flare. Well, okay, so we really want to stop. I mean, so you want so to almost stop because you don't want to be at a hover. You want to be in ETL still. Okay, so, so okay, flare till you get to ETL speed. Yeah, exactly. All you right. want to exit and be feeling those vibrations is your goal. Oh, okay, you want to be level and in ETL. Yeah. So that time you saw you were just a tad slow on the level afterwards, and then uh, just a tad behind on the collective as well. You kind of felt yourself can't get up there as you felt that sink happen. Okay. So if you start bringing it up a little bit slower, or sooner, you can be slower and smoother on it, and it keeps the whole thing a little more fluid. Terminal 887, Mike. Charlie, here retired verify your number one holding shutter point two left. Charlie, Rod, stand by for that traffic. Sorry, stand by for that traffic. Aircraft pulling short right. of runway 2. Here we go again. Alpha, here there we you go. go. Experimental 7, Mike, Charlie, can you verify the call sign right. for the aircraft Quick pulling short of runway 2? 3, left, 2, 1. Mike, so I believe it's November 22479. Nice flare. Now here comes that level and pull. Four seven nine Hayward Tower. Are you up? A little bit too much on the collective. You see yourself stopped up here. But other than that, that was looking good. Too much collective on the at the end of the flare. Yeah, so you pulled a little too much. You saw yourself stop up high. Yeah. But other than that, that was a great quick stop. You did a good job through the flare. You didn't balloon too much. You brought it back more, 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 and then you leveled at the right time because you yeah. felt those vibrations on the exit. Yeah. And then you just pulled a little. You pulled more collective than you needed to, and you stopped up there rather than continue to descend down. Oh, okay. Because we want to level and be descending. Yeah. 
Saw some ballooning there, yeah. But overall, that was a much more fluid maneuver. Okay. And then you exit at the right speed, which I like to see. Nice job. All right, thanks. All right. We'll line. make our radio call, call and we'll have you air below and back to us back home. Okay. Oh, yeah. Clear Volcom Dispatch, Charlie Earth Space Runway Two, left at Alpha, clear for takeoff. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha. I'd like to air taxi direct to Meridian. So it's 4 7 9 contact, knock out departure. Departure, 4 7 9. Let me go back to air Charlie. was much earlier. Yeah, we can head back there for now. And they're going to. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, here we're Tower. I think you were stepped on there. Just to verify, you said you wanted to air taxi from Spar Charlie to uh, Meridian. That's a fair enough, 2 Sierra Alpha. Look up the 2 Sierra Alpha. Traffic spring runway 2 left is a Seth making a left and downwind departure. Air taxi direct to Taxiway Zulu Beam Meridian. Air taxi direct to Taxiway Zulu Beam Meridian and traveling site 2 Sierra Alpha. Alright, go ahead and take me home. And look up the 2 Sierra Alpha. I don't think someone was stepping on your radio. It's just coming in pretty broken. Gotcha, thank you. Or near the... Oh, let's go near the hangar. Okay. Been having us over there more often recently. Prevent the seven mic, Charlie. Traffic off your right hand side eastbound of the You can see that dark spot on the pavement. Oh, okay. That's right. Charlie, we're looking. Tower Tower Charlie, 400, uniform Sierra, home trip to East Right, Bravo, right cross the departure. Zero zero uniform Sierra Hayward Tower right cross and departure approved. Remain below 1,500 feet till passing east of three crosses. Runway two right clear for takeoff. Remain at below 1,500 to clear of uh, to clear of Charlie east of three crosses. Uniform Sierra. That's the zero uniform Sierra. All right. Below first things first. We'll roll throttle down. 1,500 to uniform Sierra. Experiment to seven mic Charlie. Go. Traffic no factor passing behind. It is the mic side. Roger that. Thank you. And we'll just catch it at 75. We'll start our clock cool down. Friction on. Friction on 
Thank you. So it's still kind of yes. guard this. Because the friction doesn't lock it in place. It just makes it a little bit harder to move. Okay. Then the utility to maintain, left as left long left. as the rotors are turning, the positive right. control over the side. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going for two minutes, even though it's sort of the Charlie, thanks a lot. Okay, Charlie, thank you. Hey, we're down. This is Cessna 52275 at Alpha, short of 208 left, um, requesting takeoff for right crosswind departure. Cessna Zero Uniform is here at contact north departure. Uniform is here, switch. 5275, he were tower right cross on departure is approved. Remain below 1,500 feet till passing east of three crosses. From way to left at Alpha, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on 2A left for 52275, at or below 1,000. 5275 is below 1,500 till east of three crosses. At or below 1,500 till east of the three crosses for 52275. 52275, it sounds like you keep saying at or below, it's below 1,500. Below 1,500. Alright, there's your two minutes. Alright, so roll down the throttle. That's 459 in traffic near Eden Hospital, North East Town is a Cessna Alpha 1700. Thank you very much, sir. We keep an eye for uh, this guy, 459. Okay, so we're going to pull mixture. Sounds. 